Hey, bros. These Warner execs are really treating me and my character like trash. Stop being such a crybaby, Negro. We don't care about what you have to say. Only we're allowed to complain about the Hollywood execs and directors. <laughs> hey folks, Chris Crazy House here. If you remember not too long ago, I did a video talking about what was going on with Ray Fisher, the actor who played Cyborg in the Justice League movie, and some of the complaints he has been making about the director Joss Whedon and also some of the executives over at Warner Brothers and DC Studios. So the latest news is that Ray, I think, has actually been let go from playing the character Cyborg, and I think they scrapped his movie. I don't think they're going to be doing a Cyborg live action anymore, and nor is he going to be appearing in any of the spin-off Justice League movies. Like, he was supposed to have a role in the Flash movie, but I don't even think that's happening anymore, but they're definitely not going to be using Cyborg anymore, from what I understand. So, you know, even though Ray was vindicated in what he had to say about Joss Whedon, he had still been making some complaints about some of the executives at DC and Warner Studios saying how it's creating a very, or how they created a very toxic, toxic environment and they allowed a lot of abuse and just uh, mean-spirited and taking advantage of actors. They just let it go on in that environment. And I don't see really anything wrong with him bringing this stuff up. It's a shame that he's been let go for that. He's actually not a bad actor. I've seen him in other things. He's actually pretty decent. He's actually a young man too, so it's not like he's... I would say his career is over. He can go maybe go work somewhere else or go work an independent film or find his own way in that regard. But I do think he was misused and not really given a chance to shine in the Justice League movie nor has he really been given a chance in this DC universe. I mean, the, the character itself, Cyborg, is always, they just kind of shoved him in there just so they could somewhat, quote-unquote, have some diversity in the Justice League team. Because we all know that, if you're a comic book fan anyway, you know that Cyborg is really a member of the Teen Titans, always has been, always will be. And, you know... The character has almost been played almost as just like comic relief and not really seen as anything great for a couple of years. I guess during the the DC, when they started the New 52, actually Cyborg was actually one of the better comics that they came out with. But if you watch some of those Teen Titans cartoons, you know, they've kind of, they ham him up a lot. He's always saying like stuff like Booyah and... I remember the first time I ever tried to watch a Teen Titans cartoon, they literally had him barbecuing. So like that, <laughs> that right there, I was like, okay, it's obviously how they think about the character of Cyborg. So that they really can't take him seriously. But, uh, but yeah, just in regards to the, the, the actor himself, Ray Fisher, I've noticed that a lot of these internet fanboys, especially the white ones, always extremely hard on him and I find that very interesting I find that very interesting because they will dismiss whatever he's saying and call him a crybaby they even call they have a name for him they call him cryborg instead of cyborg and have just been very mean-spirited to him over the years they even have attacked him even now even when he was vindicated about the situation with Joss Whedon and when he's you know been fired they're still attacking him and i find that very interesting because what is he doing that these fools don't do on a daily basis the only difference is ray has more of a he has more of a reason to complain because he actually works there he's actually worked in this environment he's actually dealt with these people one-on-one -on -one. so why should he not be able to complain or bring a complaint about what's going on and when it's his life and his career that's on the line right but these fools get on youtube 24 7 and complain about directors executives 
the the direction that their their little movies are taking the movies that they love and and their that they're fanboying over they complain about everything and they complain about the actors in movies they complain about the sets in movies they complain about how characters are dressed they complain that the character is made into a female the character is made into a different color they complain about everything but when a black man brings up something that's going on in his actual life then all of a sudden it's okay to be dismissive of him and in fact they call him like i said they call him a crybaby but they also make it seem like he's just someone who's just so entitled he's just an entitled actor they don't even want to listen to what he has to say and i find that very interesting very interesting like I said, they, on their side, it's okay for them to complain as much as they want. They just had a whole situation with uh, one of the heads at, at Lucasfilm. I think it was, was his Pablo Hidalgo making fun of the fans out there because the fans were getting emotional about Luke Skywalker appearing in the last episode of The Mandalorian. And, you know, the, Pablo Hidalgo was making fun of them. And then all of these anti-social justice guys on youtube they all piled in to go after pablo hidalgo to the point where i think he he shut down his twitter account but so so you don't want someone making fun of the fans but you'll turn around and make fun of someone who's actually having issues within a work environment and you know i can almost understand what ray is going through because especially if you're a black male it's hard to work in any type of uh, employment or social situation without being seen as the angry black guy or the black guy that just has a chip on his shoulder. That's my that's my favorite quote that they always use. So if you're a black guy, you have a job, you just need to be grateful to be there. You just need to smile, be happy and make everyone sh make sure everyone feels comfortable with you being there. Don't ever complain about what's going on. Don't complain about what's going on with your character. Don't complain about not getting enough screen time. Just be happy to be there, Negro. And take whatever criticism or whatever we attack you, you just got to take that. Okay? And everyone expects you to be okay with that. But if you speak out, if you're someone who's outspoken and you don't want to deal with nonsense like that, you're always labeled as a problem. Right? They did the same thing with Wesley Snipes. In that last Blade movie, right? They did the same thing with, uh, what's his, that brother's name? Isaiah Washington, the one that worked on Grey's Anatomy. They, they turned him into the angry, evil black man, right? And, and I, I, I've, I've communicated with some of these brothers in on social media. They're the nicest people you ever want to meet. Both Wesley Snipes and Isaiah Washington. Very down to earth, real people. But they don't like that. They don't like when you are someone who speaks their mind now if you're mel gibson you can speak your mind if you're uh someone who's overly religious like uh what's his name chris pratt it's okay to speak your mind and say what you want to say but if you're a black man don't get too rowdy you'll be labeled the angry evil black man and now you're in trouble right and these quote unquote anti-sjw's they won't come support you the, your the liberal counterparts won't support you and these conservative people won't support you so and what do they both have in common these conservatives and liberals they're both uh they're both white right they never come and help you or support you when you get into trouble right they just leave you hanging so that's why you'll never see me on this channel or any other channel that i produce get out here and make it seem like i'm an ally of some of these folks we might agree on certain topics we might disagree on certain topics but for the most part we have a different agenda and we have different goals i'm not an ally with any of these folks i stand on my own and i stand for my my own people okay and people of, of like mind i'm not going to waste time trying to convert anybody nor am i going to waste time trying to be anyone's buddy or ally or try to get up under some of these guys because i know they they would never come to my aid you see how they're treating ray fisher they would do me even worse probably if something happened to me so you know there's no point in me trying to be one of them so like if you even see us agreeing on certain things that that's just what it is it's just us agreeing on a certain subject because i i don't like some of the nonsense that these liberals push 
in these film projects either or the mentality that they might have or trying to race bend characters or whatever but you're also not going to see me collaborating with any of these conservative types either because i don't trust them at all and a lot of them they try to claim they always get upset when someone accuses them of bigotry or being uh of being discriminatory but then they prove it when they make all these videos tearing down someone uh, a black person just for doing the same thing that they're doing so you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section but i mean i'm not surprised nor am i going to waste time trying to get these fools banned or uh arguing with them on their channels they got much bigger platforms than i do and and to be totally honest i want them to stay up I want them to have their opinions. I don't care how wrong it is because if they get to have their opinions, I get to have mine. Let them have theirs and, I, and you can come over to my channel when you want uh, a perspective that actually aligns with yours, a perspective that can actually, that doesn't take that racist slant like some of theirs does. <laughs> you know, you, you're with them up to a certain point and then all of a sudden they, they veer off on a certain road and they start talking crazy when it concerns black folks. If you don't want to deal with that, you're welcome to come here and actually talk with someone who likes these same projects or who's in the same pop culture. But you know I'm not going to take you down that road where I'm degrading you or just leaving you out to dry or tearing you down and calling you the angry black man or the angry black woman because you have an opinion. Anyway, you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Anyway, Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.